today, I'm gonna read your mind through the screen. First up, I'm gonna guess which emoji you're thinking of. Let's go. For this first mind reading trick, what I want you to do is select one of these emojis. You can pick any one you want. This is a free choice for you. You have four options. Pick an emoji, but what I want you to do, whether you're watching this on a laptop or a phone, for me to connect directly through the screen with you, I need you to hover your finger just ever so slightly above that screen so it sends a little heat over the emoji. I'll be able to kind of sense what you're selecting. So now that you've got the emoji there, I'm gonna explain the rules of this game. Keep your finger over that, but you're gonna be able to move up and down and left and right. You can move one post-it note square at a time, but you cannot move diagonally like this. Let me explain. Keep your selection, your finger over that emoji that you originally selected. But to make this harder for me, I'm gonna go ahead and put some more emojis up here. Now, again, let me explain. If you had chosen, let's just say, hypothetically, you had chosen the heart emoji in that original selection. And if I said move three squares, you would go one, two, three, or you could try to trick me. You could be here and you go one, two, three. You could go one, two, three. You can try to be as tricky as you want. Just go left and right, up and down, one post-it note at a time, but not moving diagonally. So you had either started with the heart, this monkey, the peace sign, and the camera as your first choice. So let's go ahead and start. I want you to move four places, and I'm gonna count it out for you. One, two, three, four. Now your finger is hovering over a new emoji probably, or maybe the same one, I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and sense that you're not over this emoji, so I'm gonna put it over there. Now what I want you to do is move five spots. Again, you can go left and right, up and down. You can go back, but you cannot go diagonal. Move five spots. One, two, three, four, five. You're somewhere in one of these emojis, but I'm getting a sense you're, you're not over here. I don't think that's part of it. So now I want you to select two more moves. Let's go two. One, two. Now that you've moved two spots, I'm gonna move the camera emoji out of there. Now go ahead and move three positions for me. I'll count it out. One, two, three. You're hovering over an emoji somewhere over here, but I don't think it's this one or the poop emoji. All right, let's go ahead and do three more. Your choice. One, two, Three. This is a hard one. Uh, I think a lot of people end up on the heart. A lot of people want love, but sadly, that goes away. That leaves us with one more move. Go ahead and make any choice you want. Move one. So I think you're not on this one. Ah, I think it's this one. I think you are on the monkey position. Let me know down in the comments if that's where you were. For this next mind reading trick to work, I need you to quickly think of a fruit. First fruit that comes to mind. You got one? All right, so you got your fruit and I want you to spell it out in your mind, but take the last letter of that spelling. Got the last letter of the spelling of the fruit? So now I've got this beautiful alphabet color-coded chart. I want you to find your letter and memorize the color that's inside that bubble with your letter. Got it memorized? Let's go over here. Now, you've got that color memorized, and before me I've got a bunch of really cool vehicles, and I want you to pick one that best represents your color. So if you've got that selected, I'm gonna guess which one I think you chose. I'm gonna go with the taxi. Did I get that right? Comment below if this was your choice. Now, I wanna teach you a couple mind reading tricks of your own that you could fool your friends with or your family, but first, we need to do a little mind exercise. All right, so you're just gonna have a few seconds here on the timer to read a sentence that I'm gonna pull up here, and I want you to count all the letter Fs in this sentence. Ready, go. Five, four, three, two, one. How many letter Fs did you find in that sentence? You may have said three. And if you did, that's okay. That's what I said the first time. It's actually six. Wanna check that again? 
finished files, two, and then the ofs. That's five, and there's one right in here in scientific. Six, it's weird how your mind plays games on you. So, like I said, I wanna teach you a little mind trick of your own to fool your friends with. So for this last mind illusion, I'm just gonna run it on you. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions rather quickly. It helps if you answer out loud. So let's do a rapid fire. What day does Christmas fall on? What digit falls between one and three? What are hamburgers made of? And last question, what side of the street do they drive on in Europe? Okay, now really quickly, think of a color and a tool. Say it out loud, go. If you just said a red hammer, your mind, one, is probably blown right now, but you're hopefully excited because I'm gonna teach you how to do that. You ready for the reveal? There's, a, there's actually no secret to it. So this is a pretty popular online one that I found where you just ask four questions. So you're gonna ask your friends, you know, what day does Christmas fall on? They're gonna say December 25th. There actually really is no right answer for these. The questions are really just an illusion to get them, their mind thinking in a different way. So you're gonna get them to say December 25th. You're gonna say what digit falls between one and three. A lot of people just ask math questions as well for this illusion. They'll say, what's two plus five? Six plus 12, and they'll just do rapid fire math. Then the third question people ask is, what are hamburgers made of? And then they're gonna say, you know, lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, whatever. And then your fourth question is, what side of the street do they drive on in Europe? They're gonna be thinking really quick, left, right. Actually, I don't, I don't know. I think, I think some countries drive on the right side of the road still. And then the, the key here is speed. You're gonna quickly say, Think of a color and a tool, go. And they're gonna spew out something. You don't wanna give them too much time or else they're gonna say, I thought of a green screwdriver or a blue drill bit. And let me know if it works with fooling your friends and family and they think you have crazy mind reading powers. So thanks for joining me. Like this video if you enjoyed it and your mind was blown at some section in the video. Also, if you wanna see part one, super fun right there, as well as you should subscribe if you like hanging out with me. Oh, the train's here, gotta go. Thank you.